I've got one thing to say about divorcing a narcissist. That is a buzzword that when you go into your lawyer's office, it's gonna make their ears start to ring. Here's what I mean. So many people are using that word right now, a narcissist, that in, in my experience, when I hear other family law or divorce lawyers talk about this, they sort of are like, oh yeah, I bet they're divorcing a narcissist, huh? Uh-huh, sure, everybody's a narcissist. Tens don't marry twos, honey. That's what they're gonna say. I know there's a lot of literature and stuff about th that out there on the internet, and I know that it's for real, trust me. Okay, I understand that divorcing a narcissist is a whole entirely different thing. This video is not about that. It's really about the way you're gonna show up at your future divorce lawyer's office talking about divorcing a narcissist. Because, and, and, and try not to be too hard on the divorce lawyers about this, because the deal is, in their life, they deal with so many different people every day of the week for however many years they've been doing this. And you're, you're picking an experienced lawyer, so like, it's been a while. And and over time, our brain uses those psychological um, heuristics, right? Remember that from like Psych 101? It are these mental shortcuts to make decisions. It's how you decide like when to go left, when to go right, what to eat for lunch or whatever, okay? So one of the heuristics that divorce lawyers develop, um, they center around like what sort of client is this? And everybody is different. Everyone is their own snowflake. And it's true that certain sorts of behaviors exist in the population. So you kind of have an idea like, oh, this is the new mom who never wants anybody else to be around the baby. Or the mad dad who's super pissed off at um, the system in general. Like you start to make those categories of people, this is like that. It's not really like ju as judgmental as it seems. I think people don't even realize that they're doing it. They're using a heuristic. Our brain has to make these shortcuts. Now, all that to say, when it comes to narcissism, if you come in there and you're like, I'm divorcing a narcissist, he's like such a jerk. Okay, they're gonna kind of do this. And I think it's unfair to those of us who understand what it's like to divorce a narcissist for real, because people often use that word to mean a real big jerk, a real big other word, and you know the word I mean. And look, or like they're really self-centered, they're a real pain in the butt, like, okay, that does not necessarily make you a narcissist. Like narcissism can be diagnosed, like clinical narcissism, like NPD, like narcissistic personality disorder, like a, a, a condition that can be diagnosed by a psychological professional, like then we're talking about narcissism for real. So you just need to think about like, does your X factor have a diagnosis of narcissism? Like, do you have any reason to believe that they meet those categories? Or are you really using the word narcissist to mean a big old jerk? Because the two are not the same. And it's just such a common word used in our profession that I'm afraid if you go in there saying that, that the attorneys are not gonna take you as seriously as like you deserve or as your case deserves. And look, as they go along the way, if your X factor is a narcissist, like your lawyer is gonna be one who probably says to you, like, oh yeah, this is a narcissist situation for real. So don't get yourself lumped in to one of those situations where you're describing them like that and that's not really how it is because it's gonna impact the way that your lawyer sees you. Like, this is just real life advice, practical, and other family lawyers may be like, I would never do that. Like, yes, you will, yes we do, because we're real people too. And I think it's a way you can set yourself up for success with working with your divorce legal team.